Three months of winter coolness and awesome holidays. We've kept our hoopsies warm at home, time off from work to play. But the food we've stored is running out and we can't grow in this cold. And even though I love my boots, this fashion's getting old. You know what episode I'm talking about. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Let's finish our holiday cheer. Hello everyone, I'm Keen 47 aka Wolf Keen, and welcome to an another edition of my My Little Pony Vlogs. I'm pretty sure you could tell from the intro that I did and from my little singing that I did coming in here. Y'all yeah, know what episode I'm talking about. I am talking about Winter Wrap-Up, which, damn it, I forgot to bring up the uh, the episode to see who wrote it because I forgot. I don't really pay attention to writers too much, even though I really should be if I'm going to be doing this. Um, hold on, I'm going to the website now. Sorry, guys, for the unprofessionalism. Um, I'm talking about Winter Wrap-Up written by Cindy Morrow. This is a very fun episode to uh, watch in many instances. And as a matter of fact, it's snowing outside as I'm talking about this, and it's the middle of winter. So it almost seems very poetic in many cases, the time I'm recording this, of course. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this one. But anyways, let's get into the episode of Winter Wrap-Up. Now, apparently in Ponyville, the ponies basically clean up winter themselves. Normally in other areas of Equestria... They clean up winter using magic and stuff like that, like Canterlot. Canterlot cleans winter using magic, which is explained to us by Spike. So, we learn that uh, every year, Ponyville basically cleans up winter by themselves using the Earth Pony, the Pegasi, and, any, and various other people, but they don't use any kind of magic to clean the winter. I know a lot of people say, oh, Rarity's cheating by making birds nest with magic. That's not technically uh, cleaning winter. That's more or less prepping. That's not. That's more or less prepping for spring. I'm pretty sure the rules are if they don't use magic to clean the winter, then it's okay. Like everything else is fair game in some cases. But you get what I mean by that. I got a bit of the sniffles, guys. So give me a break here. Um, what happens though is that this is the first time Twilight is going to be involved in this because she's never been involved in a situation like this before. And doesn't know which team to go with. That's when we get the winter wrap-up theme, which is by far one of my favorite themes of season one. It is one of the most catchiest songs ever, and it is so good. Like, oh my god, it is such a good song. I love that song to death. It's one of my favorite things. Um, sort of like Mysterious Mr. Enter, songs do not factor into uh, my overall enjoyment of an episode. But... In my case, they still do play a key role in if I like it or not. If I don't like a song, well, here's the thing. A song is not going to kill or make an episode for me, just like Mysterious Mr. Enter. The song is not going to kill or make an episode for me, so... It's like how graphics don't make and break a game. Trust me, guys, if you have played Deadly Premonition, y'all would know what I'm talking about. But I digress, and I'm completely off topic. So what happens is that Twilight tries helping out in different areas to try to see if she could find her usefulness. First, she tries to help out with the Pegasus team about cleaning, you know, the clouds and stuff like that. But, of course, she has no wings. Not yet, at least. But, um, yeah, she can't help out with the Pegasi, so she moves on to trying to help out with, uh, with, uh, Pinkie Pie, I believe. I think, I think it was Pinkie Pie first, or maybe it was Rarity. I don't remember. But, um... We move on to one of the two. First, I'll talk about Pinkie Pie. Basically, Pinkie Pie is ice skating. Apparently, what she's supposed to do is ice skate across the ice and create, like, lines across. So when the ice does melt, when ice melts, it'll break along the lines. You know, kind of like cutting, a, you know, like cutting, like, a cube steak in half when it's frozen and then letting it thaw out and then, you know, it breaks. I don't know. Like, you get what I mean, though. Of course, Twilight tries to ice skate and she does miserably, like, terribly... And so she tries other things. Then she tries to help out with um, Rarity in making bird's nest, which this fails epically as well. And all the all, Spike is being a real dick. Like, all the time, Spike is being a real dick. Like when Twilight crashed into Pinkie Pie and him and basically caused them to crash, um, Spike starts laughing at her and calling her a natural disaster. 
And then uh, when Twilight made a nest, he said that nest needs to be condemned. And then Rarity's trying to be nice, like, oh, I'm pretty sure it could be used as. And then Spike says, an outhouse. I'm like, when did Spike become such a dick? Like, why are you being such a dick? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know why he's being that way. May Someone brought up the idea that maybe he's supposed to be in hibernation. Like, he is an, an animal in some cases. Um, maybe he's supposed to be in hibernation like other animals. Maybe he's living an unhealthy lifestyle. Eh, could be. <laughs> so now we move on to uh, Applejack, where she's trying to help Applejack out with uh, cleaning the snow. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. We move on to uh, Fluttershy. She tries to help Fluttershy out. Apparently, what Fluttershy is doing is uh, waking up the animals from hibernation so they can clean out their nests and then they can prepare them for a spring. So, of course, Twilight tries to help out and as soon as she wakes up one of the animals, it ends up being snakes where she sees snakes, she backs up right into another cave and then bats come out causing her to get scared, run right into a tree and then a freaking bee's nest falls right onto her head and then you already know and then she runs right into another cave right into a cave of skunks i'm like jesus christ i don't think twilight deserved all that i mean granted that was funny in many cases but was that deserved like i don't think twilight did anything to deserve that at least that much punishment in many cases so um what happens next is that uh spike is trying to convince twilight that uh he need, she needs to start using her, her magic. Like, stop doing it the traditional way and do it the right way and use your magic. What's the difference? I mean, um, is there really a right way to do things? Like, there's no right way to clean leaves. There's no right way to shovel snow or anything like that. It depends on you. So that's kind of a debatable statement. So next she tries to help out Applejack, who basically all of the ponies are... Uh, plowing the snow like basically pushing the snow with these carts it's a weird contraption you got to watch the episode to see it and of course twilight tries and of course she's not powerful enough to do it and then she finally comes to grips and bees like you know what fine i'll give it a shot with using magic so she brings the thing to life and unfortunately she loses complete control of it causing her to go right into a mountain causing her to build up so much snow that it turns into a ball running over applejack and spike running into a mountain and then causing an avalanche to come down on all their cleaning that they just did of course she gets scolded by applejack for using magic and of course spike goes against her spike this was your freaking idea you're a freaking dick this episode like spike was a dick this episode in many cases i don't get it don't get me wrong i like it when he's like that at times but this is going a little far if you ask me so of course twilight runs away being sad and all and unfortunately she just feels like she's just ruining winter wrap up and of course she now starts hearing the fact that um they're apparently behind on their cleaning. Like, um, they didn't get the southern birds. Apparently, Ditsy do went uh, north instead of south to get the birds. Um, the dens have yet to be cleaned yet. Rarity only made one bird's nest because she's still trying to fix the one that Twilight made. And the ice skating, like Pinkie Pie doing all that ice skating, since she didn't do it coordinated enough, she ended up causing big chunks, which didn't, you know break and melt right away so now they have to skate on those big chunks to make those break and apparently they've been behind on winter cleaning for the last few years and now they're about to be behind yet again and winter's about to be cleaned up late again and they're going to get ridiculed then they talk about they need some kind of organization at the beginning of the episode we see how organized twilight is and we see this in other episodes so of course twilight tells spike get my checklist and uh quill and basically tells the ponies that um, they can do this if they have organization. So Twilight begins organizing all of the ponies on different jobs that they need to do and different areas that they need to do. They begin, uh, you know, making the bird's nest. They actually wake up all the animals at the same time. They actually create this epic tornado, like this epic tornado to take all the clouds and snow out of the area, which holy crap that was a cool thing to see just like you know all the pegasite coming into the clouds and then causing this crazy ass tornado slash hurricane going through the sit going through the town and taking all the snow and clouds i was like wow this is amazing and then seeing all the you know other ponies clean up the snow plant seeds and other stuff like that 
And thanks to Twilight's organization, they were actually able to make it on time with, uh, you know, they were actually able to make it on time to get uh, Winter cleaned up thanks to Twilight's help. And um, that's when Twilight gets the title of All Team Organizer for helping all the teams organize themselves to clean when they're on time. And then, of course, we end with our lesson. Um, I, for I don't really remember the lesson. Like, the lesson was good and all because you just have to, you know, stay true, like, you know, stick to your talents in many cases. I think that was it. And, of course, we end with this scene with Spike on a piece of ice in the middle of the lake, and he gets sick. Like, he ends up fall. I guess he fell into the water, and he got sick because he was in a bathrobe and sneezing, and he even fell asleep at the end of the episode. That's karma at its finest. I'm sorry, but that's what Spike deserves for being such a freaking dick the entire episode. So he got his comeuppance. All in all, what do I think about this episode? I love this episode. There's not a lot of things I can hate about this episode. The visuals are good. I love the conversations that Twilight has with her friends. Spike may be acting a little out of it here, but then again, that could be accountable to certain factors. And of course, he got he got his karma at the end of the day, so, you know. The winter wrap-up song was really good. The lesson was good as well. I mean, it was definitely a great episode. Seeing how them clean winter and turn it into spring, it was definitely some kind of crazy transition. I found this episode to be very enjoyable to watch and very fun to look at. Like this was a very this was a visually pleasing episode in many cases. All I gotta say is is that Holy crap, this is one of my favorite Season 1 episodes. This is definitely another one of my favorite Season 1 episodes. And I definitely, you know, I, I, I can't say anything but go watch it. Go watch this episode. You will definitely like it. Alright guys, so until next time, I'm Keenan47, a.k.a. Wolfkeen. And I'll see you all for the next My Little Pony Vlog. So until next time, take care.